On today's video, we're going to teach you how to manually cut on a Park CNC saw that has the orthogonal feature on it. Since we're exaggerating, I'm going to teach you how to align the head to the part before we cut it. The Voyager that we are using for this video today already has its blade touched off as well as the table. In the operation manual screen, I already have the correct tool selected in the bottom left hand corner. And now we're going to go line the piece to the head. To do this, I'm just going to turn on the pendant, make it at active and start aligning. Don't forget to turn the laser on so that you can align the head to the piece. I have roughly drawn in the shape and the location of where I want to cut this piece out, so I'm just going to use the pendant to align it quick. I'm going to go C plus so that the water doesn't spray me towards the monitor. I'm going to use Y to get relatively close. I'm going to use the slow button in C to keep aligning until the laser looks relatively equal along that white line. And then I'm just going to scoot a little bit closer in Y again as well. Once you are comfortable with where the laser is, going to direct where the blade is going to be cutting. You are good to make your first cut. Now that I have the piece aligned to the head, I'm going to go into the orthogonal mode. What orthogonal mode does is it changes how the machine thinks. For right now, now that I'm in orthogonal, forward on the left toggle switch means that the saw is going to go in the direction that the laser is pointed. This is the direction you want to cut. If you go negative, you will be dragging the blade backwards and the piece might possibly lift while you are cutting. Also, the manual feed rate switches for both X, Y, and Z don't do anything anymore. Those are only when you are not in orthogonal. During orthogonal, the program feed rate switch is used to determine the amount of inches per minute that you are going to be cutting. In the sense, if you think about it this way, orthogonal is the same thing as running a manual program. Now that we have the piece aligned, we are going to cover that couple things on the screen. Most important is that you have the spindle RPM set for the correct RPM for the blade that you are using. Second, you are going to want to, after you have that RPM set, hold the arbor start for a few seconds in order for the blade to be able to start. Now, when you do this, if it gives you an alarm, you probably forgot to turn on your spindle enable. Next step is going to be underneath the new orthogonal screen that pops up once orthogonal is selected. Down here, we want our blade to go a negative amount into the table. I'm going to I'm going to simply put a negative 16th in here just so that I know I'm cutting all the way through the piece slightly into the table. Last thing is we have the the water switch down on the bottom because we're not running a program, we do have to turn the water switch on because we are manually cutting. Now remember the program feed rate switch controls everything as far as feed rate. You're allowed to see both your plunge and your cut speed right here in the bottom left corner. Currently what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my program feed rate switch to about 10 inches a minute because I'm going to be plunging 
fairly close to my stone. Then I'm going to hit go to in Z. Once I see the blade start coming down, you can watch in the position here, as well as keeping your eye on the table itself. I'm just going to slowly speed this up until I come relatively close to the top of the stone within a couple of inches. And then I'm going to back it down to my 10 inches a minute or so as I start plunging to the table. Once you have the blade down, at this point, the cut distance, I could type in a known distance that I want the blade to travel right here. Remember, X is now the direction that the laser is traveling. So if I wanted to cut for 40 inches, I could type 40 inches, hit OK, and go to plus. Because remember, plus is always towards where the laser is pointing. You don't really want to cut in negative so that you can avoid pulling the pieces up as you cut. Okay. Why you do not want to do right now until you are ready to sidestep. We will get to that in a little bit. Otherwise, I can also forego the dimensions and simply just go X positive and I will be traveling at this cut feed rate. As it is cutting, you can see both X and Y are moving in our demonstration video because we slightly skewed our piece so that both X and Y have to travel at the same time. After the cut is done, simply raise the Z up so that you are at least two inches above the top of the table. You must be two inches above the top of the table in order to move Y. Now, the reason that this is important is so that you don't accidentally drag the blade sideways while still in the stone. That would damage your blade. To know how much I want to move over, since I am trying to cut a 30 by 4 inch piece, I do not simply want four in here. I was using this side of the blade. Now I'm going to be using this side of the blade. So when I decide how far I'm going to move, I'm going to go to setup, setup, and look at what my blade kerf is. My current blade kerf is .153. So when I go back to operation manual, I don't simply want to put in four, but rather four and the blade curve. So I'm going to go 4.153. Now, since X was going to the right, we know that a Y positive is typically towards the back of the machine. Remember, it is slightly angled now because we're in orthogonal mode. So if I hit Y positive, you will see that the blade went in the correct direction. If you went the wrong direction, no big deal. Wait till it's done moving and then simply hit the other directional button two times to get to where you wanted to go. Now that our Y is moved to our correct location, I'm just gonna go X negative until I am back at the beginning of the piece. That way, now that I'm ready to cut again and I am off the piece totally, I'm going to tell the blade to plunge down again and we're just going to make the second rip in this backsplash. Remember, while this is running, keep an eye on your plunge feed rate. To make the second cut, I'm just going to go X positive.
When you're done making the cut, again, make sure you go out of the stone at least two inches above the table. Now that we've completed the first two cuts, I'm actually gonna hop out of orthogonal for a second. And the reason that I'm doing this is I need to be able to rotate the C-axis. Right now the C-axis, with our part being skewed slightly, was about a little bit more than five degrees. What I'm gonna do down here is I actually want the blade to rotate so that it is now coming towards me um, and shooting the water towards the back of the machine. So I'm going to rotate negative 90 from where I'm currently at. Since I'm at a positive five degrees, when I come down here to the C axis, when I click in here, I'm going to say that I need to get to a negative 84 point eight nine nine degrees that will give me 90 degrees from where i'm currently at when i hit okay when i hit go to c it's going to go off of this i like always being a little bit slow about this make sure i'm going the right direction and i'm going to hit go to c now that i'm out of my stone and ready the c axis is slowly rotating until I get to the right direction. Once I get to the, that right direction, I'm gonna have to reline up my laser for my edge cuts. Now that we have the C-axis aligned to the degree that we want, I'm going to actually stop the arbor, turn off the water, and I'm just gonna walk in and manually line up that other first cut of the two edges with my pendant. With the laser aligned for the next two cuts, just going to simply turn the arbor on, put the water on, go back into orthogonal, and finish, the, finish this piece up. Once I'm two inches higher above the table, since I want a 30 inch piece, and I'm using the other side of my blade now, I'm going to do 30.153. And I'm going to go in the Y negative direction now. Remember, this is orthogonal. I'm going to go backwards to the beginning of my cut, still in orthogonal. Plunge. And 
thousand feet across. Now that I'm done with the cut entirely and that whole piece, I'm going to hold Z positive. I'm going to safely get out of my material. Once I'm safely out of my material, I can arbor stop, turn the water off, and turn the key to disable if you want to walk in there and retrieve your part.